Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I trim, well, how I self trim my type 4 hair. So I have my mirror to my right of me and I'm all ready to start. I'm starting off on an old twist out. As you can see my ends are looking just a little bit thin. Some of it is because I need a trim. Some of it is just because of naturally after getting my hair straightened my hair did go a little bit thin so i'm just going to section off that first piece in the far left of my hair just on one side and start detangling and i realized my hair was out of frame so i'm not really going to show you much of this section or the other section what i am going to show you is though is what my hair looks like after um, having straightened my hair I'm going to show you what it looks like and just how the difference is when I'm stretching my hair which is why I wouldn't overly stretch my hair. You see how thin my ends go? Not because I have heat damage, it still curls once I allow it to shrink up on itself. It's just that since straightening my hair, um, it just has went so thin. But if I allow my hair to shrink just a little bit, it does allow me to have a little bit of thickness. So I was trying to give you guys just a little bit of length to check, but it didn't work. Let's go into the actual video where you can see how I self trim my hair. So at first I'm sectioning off the sides of my hair. And I try to section my hair in a way where, like how I would typically wear my hair or do my twist. Like you want it to be in the section, in the section or in a way where you typically allow your hair to fall. Once my hair is all sectioned off, I then go in and I start my detangling process. Before I put these twists in, I did not really detangle my hair thoroughly. So I'm just going to go in with a modified Denman or you could just use a wide teaspoon to put those in thin ends again. But this part of my hair is just naturally fine so I don't think it's because I straightened it, it's just naturally fine. So I went in with my modified Denman just to detangle it a little bit or you can use a wide teaspoon as well, I wish I did. Um, so you use that at first and just pull your hair taut all the way down and you smooth your hair to the end up to where you feel your ends starting to fray and just get a little bit super thin so i'm going to work my way down to that section i stooped up a little bit more just to make sure that you guys can actually see me in frame this time so the smoothing down the hair you can see where the hair goes super thin i'm not going to cut a lot off of my hair this is only a trim not a cut so i'm just smoothing down the hair working my way towards the thinning section and i'm just gonna go ahead and clip that off once i clip that off i'm then going to go in with a brush like an, a regular brush I, I use this brush to detangle all the time and this gives me a more thorough detangle so my hair has to be just a little bit of cleared out or even if I finger detangle before I go in with this brush because it's not going to you know this this brush is just a really thorough detangler so I want to make sure my hair's detangled before because I'm really sensitive <laughs> like I have a really sensitive scalp and I really don't like combing my hair so just going in with that brush detangling try to stretch out my hair a little bit more and you're not going to apply any products on your hair because i don't want my hair to revert back or anything i don't want my hair to be too greasy where i can't grip it or anything so i'm not using any water any oils so i'm just repeating that same process that i did being sure to hold my hair taut and keeping a firm grip the entire time and because I've already trimmed it, I'm not going to have a lot to trim this time. As you can see, it's just a very little bit. And what I do is, if I have hair that's poking out, I just feel for and separate that part. And make sure that I comb it out and trim it as well. 
because I don't want to just trim like just the longer length of my hair. I want to make sure that every part of my hair has been trimmed and I have nice clean ends. So that's what I do because um, my, my hair grows very uneven so for me to realistically cut off like half my hair trying to keep it one length um, my hair is just gonna always be short so I can't trim for just the longest part of just the um, shortest part of my hair anymore I have to just go in bit by bit and trim my hair and I'll just allow my hair to catch up with itself since it doesn't grow at the same length the back of my hair is pretty much the same length and that's just because I've been cutting the back of my hair to stay the same length for a very long time because the back used to grow the longest so it's the same length because I used to cut a lot off in order for my hair to hang correctly so I'm all done trimming well loosely but what I next go in is I just twist up my hair very firmly and once I'm done twisting, I'll see if there's any loose strands coming out of the twist and I'll just trim that off. Before I used to trim the entire thin parts of my twist, but because of me um, just where my hair is falling a little bit thinner since straightening it, I can't just trim off the thin part of my hair because it's it's my hair is just naturally falling thinner so I can't just go ahead and trim off all of my hair I would have to slowly transition out of the thin parts of my hair so as you can see I'm just repeating the same steps going in with my denman trimming the end then I'm gonna go in with my other brush trim the end and yeah I mean, the, this is just a repetitive process it takes a lot of time especially detangling my hair it takes a long time so what I did want to make sure I show was what I do to the front of my hair as I said with the back portions, I just pull the hair in the way that it falls. I just trim my hair like straight, like trying to get it, just hold it taut and then just trim it. For the front, I pull it towards my face and I trim it. And as you can see, there are a lot of short sections coming out of it as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim those separately. But what I do is I split the hair in two because typically I would wear a middle part and I then trim the hair and as you can see there's not a lot of hair to trim off once I split the hair in two but once I twist it together it's going to be a little bit off because I guess one side grows just a tad bit longer than the other but they're still relatively straight so I'm just gonna twist it up and I'm still gonna trim like any stray strands just because my ends just really curl up on each other a lot and I don't want it to be like a noticeable difference when I twist and for the top I just pull it out and then pull it down so I brush it pull it out and then pull it down on the side where I would typically wear it I don't know I'm still trying to figure out if this is the correct way for the middle section my middle section grows really slow and breaks the most there you have it that is how I trim my hair so this is my completed results my hair looks very healthy of course when I comb my hair it gets really thick so once so I'm just gonna show you um, take these twists out and show you what my results are I'm not sure what's going on with that little piece, but I'm going to leave it. So this is my freshly trimmed hair results. My ends look really good. I really love how my hair looks after a fresh trim. It makes my twist out look so much better. And I'm... Um, yeah, it was just, my hair is already starting to shrink back 
thank you so much for watching guys i want you to please be sure to like and please subscribe this video bye